Oh, this is good. Watch this. The Republican members that are here today, what have you all done to help Joe Biden in this okay, year okay. that you all have waited all, for? All right, so that's a ridiculous and silly question. I want to commend you for being the media and telling a Democrat policy. So let me ask you something. Come on, man. That's been going on for 20 years. Yeah, okay, really. okay, hey, let, 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 me, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. What rate of illegal immigration did we have in 2020? But you have Do you know anything? I asked you a question. You Do you know anything? How long have you been in office? I've been in office 11 years yeah, now. And this has been okay. the calendar in multiple administrations. Except you're wrong. Okay, you don't get to argue with me. You asked your question. You asked Ask your question. You don't get. You want to hold a press conference? You can do it over there. You, have How are you, you want to hold a press conference? You can do it over there. How are you? Senator, so, so, so hold on. I'm going to answer his question. The talking point of the Democrats, which this media reporter happily parrots, is, "Gosh, the problem can't be fixed." There's one little problem with that. It is an utter and complete lie. In 2020, the last year of the Trump presidency, we had the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. You ask, what have I done? I've championed the men and women of Border Patrol. I've championed securing the border. I've championed Remain in Mexico. And we turned this problem around and solved it. And we went from Joe Biden inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration in 45 years. And the first day in office, he made political decisions to cause this problem. And you should be ashamed of yourself because you're a reporter and you're not reporting facts. You're telling lies. Joe Biden made a political decision and they turn a blind eye. If you want to know just how much they turn a blind eye, six weeks ago in the Judiciary Committee, I questioned Alejandro Mayorkas. I put up a poster board of colored wristbands. And I asked him, Mr. Secretary, what are these colored wristbands? And he said, I don't know. I have no idea. That was the one bit of his testimony that truly shocked me because just about every illegal immigrant who crosses the border is wearing a colored wristband. They correspond to how many thousands of dollars the immigrants owe the cartels. And the fact that Mayorkas doesn't even know what they are, if you stand on the banks of the Rio Grande River, as I have done many times, you see hundreds or thousands of these wristbands laying in the ground. Sir, I don't know if you stood there, but I know Mayorkas hasn't because he didn't know what the wristbands were. And that means he hasn't talked to the Border Patrol agents either. It is immoral. And when those kids cross, the teenage boys who owe thousands of dollars to the cartels, the Biden administration flies them to every city in America. They fly them to Kansas. And there those teenage boys are forced to work for the Mexican drug cartels committing crimes to pay off the money they owe. And if they don't pay it off, they'll murder their families. And I'll tell you, as bad as the boys have it, the girls have it worse. There are thousands upon thousands of teenage girls trapped in sex slavery. And yet, for those of you in the media who don't report on that, you should be ashamed. This is evil. And the reason you don't see any Democrats here is they can't defend this. They're counting on the press not to cover it. It's wrong.